Good evening, class. Hello, Nubia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Elsa. Hello, teacher. We'll start in a couple of minutes. Well, let's start. <clears throat> Elsa, what's your favorite color? Me puede repetir. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Red. Okay, thank you. Marvin? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Elsa. Okay, Marvin, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue, thank you. Minor, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Black. All right. Marilyn, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is black, too. Black. Great. Jacqueline, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Pink. Good. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. People listen, entering to the class. Okay, let's say, Nubia, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue. Glenda, what is your favorite color? Mm, uh, my favorite color is red. Red, okay, thank you. Abel, what is your favorite color? Both color is the red. Red, okay. Claudia Elizabeth, what is your favorite color? Hi, teacher. My favorite is black. My favorite color is black. Okay, thank you. And Chrysia, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Purple. All right. Today, we're going to talk about colors. That's why I was asking. Let's share the presentation. Oh, well, that was just a warm-up, okay? Let's talk about your dream house. My goodness. Okay, let's talk about houses. I guess. Okay, let's talk about my dream home. Write a description of your dream home. What is your dream home like? Where is it? What rooms does it have? What things are in the rooms? Does it have a view? All right, so these are examples of a dream house. 
can be a cabin, a penthouse, a villa, a houseboat, as an example. So what is your dream home like? Um, and dream, okay, my dream home is, um, let's say it's a penthouse. A penthouse is a luxury apartment in a very expensive area, okay? So we're talking about money, okay? That's a penthouse. But we like to have a penthouse, okay? Uh, in the city. Uh, and we're going to use, there is, there is a big living room with a big flat TV screen and um, a bar, coffee table, crystal coffee table, uh, excellent view of the city, etc. Okay, so describe your dream house, dream home. Okay, describan su casa de en sueño, right? The soñada. Guíense por esta pregunta. Okay, what is your dream home like? Ah, uh, my dream home is a cabin, a penthouse, a villa, a houseboat. Okay, let's write it, okay? Vamos a escribir. Write it on your notebooks. Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes to write. If you have questions, tell me, okay? Va a usar there is or and there are. I'm going to write an example here so you can have an idea.
Okay, pay attention to my example. My dream home is a penthouse in the city. There is a big living room with a great view of the city. There's a big flag TV and a modern, there's missing a letter here, and a modern stereo system. There are many armchairs and cushions, and then you'll continue, okay? So describe your, your living room, describe your bedroom, and maybe the kitchen. One more minute. Okay. Claudia Elizabeth, what do you have? Glenda Elizabeth, what do you have? My dream house is in the house on the beach. Um, oh, wow. um, the, um that has a large kitchen mm -hmm. and the uh, in swimming pool. A swimming pool. Swimming pool. Yeah. Good. Um I have a um television. Um, a living room. A living room, uh-huh. I, uh -huh. I, I have the um, big uh, bathroom. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember to use there is and there are. Okay. Uh, let me see, Crisia. What do you have, Chrisia? Nubia, what do you have? Um, the house of my dream is is local location in the field, mm -hmm. and there is a theater in home. There is a big jar, and uh, there are dogs, mm -hmm. uh, many dogs. Mm -hmm. Only this. That's it. One TV and dogs. No, mm -hmm. no more. No more. Okay. Thank you. Anna Ruth.
a bell. What do you have? My dream home is a penthouse in the city. Okay. There is, is a big kitchen and the and mm, big on the terrace. Terrace. That's it, no more. So all all you all of you are saying, okay, you only have you don't have refrigerator, you don't have a lamp, you don't have a, a table, you you don't have a bed, only a TV and chairs. Okay, let's go to the next activity. I'm going to read about these houses. I'm going to send the picture, okay? Where are you, my friend? Here. We're going to work on a reading, okay? So this is the reading. I'm going to record. Okay. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nettles' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful. But Mrs. Nettles loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, Lorraine. invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor and wood and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, what are you going to do? Listen to the audio and read. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes. Listen and read. After that, you are going to read. Start.
Okay, finish. Everybody finish? Nubia, Glenda, Abel, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Nubia, read the first paragraph or the first story, and then Glenda, Elizabeth, read, read the other. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yes, Nubia goes first and Glenda, the second. Oh, okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. Sorry about that. I don't know who's making that uh, annoying. That's annoying. Please stop. Okay, continue, Nubia. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, uh, Mrs. Snero is a music, music, musician, American video. No, Mexican American writer. She is a famous for her interesting history. Mm -hmm. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful painting. Mm -hmm. Continue. Many, many others house near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or white. Sorry, white or beige. White or beige. So her house. Is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisner loves it. Love, love it. All right, very good. Thank you, Novia. Very nice. Glenda, it's your turn. Okay. Um, in very years, many people visit Arizona to learn about native. American tribe, most people say in the hotel, hot, in hotels, hotel, in hotels, in hotels, mm -hmm. but some people say in tri, tri, traditional, traditional, na, na, native American homes. Mm -hmm. Call, call, oh, Call Hogan. Hogan's. Hogan's. Call mm -hmm. Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visit, visitors. Visitors to stay in the her Hogan's. It has three chairs to be to bed on the floor and a good burning. So, mm -hmm. me, Nelson, teacher, her guess about Native American tradition. Very good, Glenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Good. Two more. Two more. Let me see from my list here. Let's listen to Minor, the first story, and Crisia, the second one. Okay. There. In San Antonio, Texas, there's a people house. A tea house is in the home of Santa Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican American. Um, Writer, uh, mm -hmm. she is a famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a 
pink floor. floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Hmm. Many other house near 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 Mrs. Nero's uh -huh. house are right or beige 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 beige. Uh -huh. So her house is very different. Some of of her neighbors think her house is too colorful. But Miss Cisnero love it. Excellent. Very good. Minor, continue. Who was uh Grisia, right? Yes. Okay, thank every, you. Every year many people visit Arizona to learn, learn about Native American tribe. Most people stay in hotels. Hotels, hotels. hotels. Um, but some people stay in traditional native Native American homes uh, called Hogan, oh. mm -hmm. uh, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a uh, wood burning stuff. Miss Nelson teacher here gets about Native American traditional. All right, very good, thank you. So a teacher from Arizona invites visitors, okay? And her guest is about Native American tradition. Excellent, very good. Now let's go and Let's continue with another activity related to the reading, okay? So, I need uh, Marilyn Ruby to read the instructions. A, read the article, Marilyn. Okay. Read the, ar the article was... In each house, complete the chair. The chart. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. So we have this, I this, I mean, uh, phrases. Three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds on the floor, uh, and a wood born stove. Understand? Yes. All right, so, yes. okay, let's, if you see, we are using there is and there are, okay? So we have, uh, there is, remember, is for singular and there are is for plural. Okay, please complete the chart. In Sandra Cisneros' house, there oh. are colorful paintings. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. But do it. Write it, please. Write it. Write it. I'm going to give you two minutes, and then you can give me your answer, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. I already sent the photo to the WhatsApp group, okay?
Okay. Now, tell me, Sandra Cisneros' house, there is a porch with a pink floor. Number two. There are many, many books and colorful paintings. Okay. There are many books. And there um, are, and there are, and there are, mm -hmm. you said it, go, 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 <laughs> yeah, gallina, va. no, no, color, color, uh, uh, oh, okay, but, colorful paint. Yes, but use there are. There are colorful paint, com the complete sentence. There are um, colorful paintings. Okay. Thank you, Glenda. You are doing you are doing a great job. Okay. I need another participation with Lorraine Nelson's Hogan. Yes, 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 yes. Uh huh. There is a wood burning stop. There is a wood burning stop. Yes, continue, continue. There are two beds on the floor. Okay. And, and there are three chairs. And there are three chairs. Excellent. Very good. Great job. Repeating. In Sandra Cisneros house, there is a porch with a pink floor. There are many books. There are colorful paintings, period. In Lorraine Nelson's Hogan, there is a wood burning stove. There are two beds on the floor and there are three chairs. Very good. Let's continue. Okay, let's start with unit eight. Okay, no, yeah, thank you. But I need you to speak. I need you to speak. All right, what do you do? Nubia, what do you do? Uh, perdón, teacher. What do you do? Understand the question? Sí, ¿qué, ¿qué estoy haciendo? No. What is your occupation or profession? What do you do for a living? I... A journalist. Ah, you are a journalist. Hey, interesting. You are a journalist. Excellent. Very good. I didn't know that. From uh, what uh, newspaper or or a TV or a radio? Where do you work? No, it's a wait. Well, how is the página internet? Ah, it's a website. Website. Ah, all right. What's the name of the of the site? Is Orato World. Orato. Uh, yes, Orato. Orato. Orato comes from. Uh, it's a magazine from okay. Canada. Ah, from Canada. Interesting. Hey, I did it. You see how interesting it is. Nice. Okay, and thank you for your information. Tatiana Michelle, what do you do? My professional is uh, student. Okay, you you can you can say simply, okay? I'm a student. I'm a student, okay? I am a student. I'm a student. Yeah, I'm yeah, a student. Okay. All right, good. All right, now we're going to work on these exercises. We're going to see these. 
take a look. It says match the jobs with the pictures. Okay, then listen and practice. Here's a okay, that's that's an exercise. So we have number one. Number one is where is it? Hey, so this guy. K is a receptionist. Okay, continue with number two. Number three, write the letter. Okay, write the letter of the occupation. Okay, then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 occupations or professions. Okay. Start, please. Do it.
Hello. What is number two? Doctor. Doctor, okay. What letter? Letter C. Letter C. Number three? Um, nurse. Nurse. Letter C. Letter? Um, H. Letter H. H. Okay. Number four? H. Number four? Letter Pilot. Letter? Pilot. A pilot. A pilot. Yes, a pilot. A pilot. And five? Uh, fly attendant. A fly attendant. Attendant. Yeah, attendant. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Number six. He's a musician. Okay, he's a musician. Musician. Number seven. She is a singer. She is a singer. She is a singer. Okay. Number eight. And Jude. Como se dice? Okay, George. 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 Nine. A police officer. A police officer. Police officer. Police officer. All right, yes. Number 10. Lawyer. 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 No, Lawyer. Lawyer. Okay. Lawyer. Eleven. Eleven. Chef. Cook. Um. Chef. He's a chef. chef. Okay. Twelve. The uh, waiter. Oh. Ah, uh, waiter. Waiter. Okay. A uh, waiter. waiter. Okay. Thirteen. Waiter. She's a waitress. She's a waitress, okay. 14. He's a salesperson. He's a salesperson. A salesperson. Very good, very good. 15. Cashier. A cashier. A cashier. And 16? She's security guard. Security guard. A security guard. Security guard. Listen, listen, listen. Security guard. Security guard. No. Listen, security. Security, security, no security. Security guard. Security guard. Okay, you can say security, security guard. Security, a security guard, okay? Security. So we have cashier, okay. cook, or chef, doctor, fly attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, Salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. All right. Now you are going to go in the break rooms. Let me let me do some. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Here. Mm -hmm.
Okay. The activity is like that. Uh, is like this. Okay. You're going to say what is. Uh, let's say with a number. What is number seven, Java? Okay. What is number seven, Java? You are going to use his or she's. You're going to say she's a singer. Okay. No. What is number ten, Java? What is the answer? She, she, he is a lawyer. He's a lawyer, okay? That is the activity in the rooms, okay? Let's go. Thank you, Elsa.
All right, welcome back. I'm back. All right, thank you. Let's, let's work on this activity, okay? In the hospital, works a doctor, a nurse, I don't know who else, okay? In an office? A lawyer. A lawyer. Uh-huh. A receptionist. A receptionist. A job. Excuse me? Job. 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 I, I don't understand. Um, George. Ah, George. Yo, a George. Okay, <laughs> now now I now I understand. A George. Mm, okay, in a store. Um, a salesperson. A salesperson. Salesperson. Mm -hmm. This a cashier. A cashier, yes. The se security. security, a security guard. Security guard, security guard, security guard. Okay. Security guard. Yes. In a hotel? A receptionist. A receptionist, yes. <laughs> hotel. A chef. A chef. A singer. Singers, yeah. A security guard. A security guard too. Okay. We're going to stop here and I'm going to call the attendance. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Abel Herminio Mendez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Ruth Lizama. Present. Okay. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. Present teacher. Thank you. Diego Mariano Clímaco. Diego tiene días de no presentarse. Okay. Elsa Cecilia Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro. No. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón. Present teacher. Jacqueline Lorena Campos. Present teacher. All right. Karen Vanessa Aguilar. Present. All right. Catherine Yanira García. Catherine Andrea Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Crisia Elizabeth Portillo. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Ruby Mulato. Present. Thank you. Marvin Rudy Mulato. Present. Thank you. Minor Alexander Avelar. Present teacher. Thank you. Miriam Janet Villalobos. Present. Okay. Nubia Beatriz Brivas. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Martinez. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Michelle Pineda. Present. Thank you. Senia Esmeralda Chavez. Present. All right. Thank you. Okay. Solo les recomiendo que se pongan al día con la plataforma. ¿Ok? Pónganse al día con la plataforma y si están al día, avancen lo más que puedan. ¿Ok? Ok. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, Goodbye. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night.